welcome everyone to trailer to film here in this review I take three scenes from the trailer and I, I talk about it that, that that's it and here we're gonna talk about pet cemetery <laughs> Okay. I'm okay. <sighs> Everything is fine. <clears throat> Seriously, folks, I'm fine. <laughs> Coffee. In the events of how my week was going to go, I was going to see The Curse of La Llorona rather than this film, but sadly, I drew the short straw and... Here it is, Pet Cemetery. I gotta talk about it, but I don't know if La Llorona was gonna be any better than this. So, I just have to deal with the cards that have been dealt. I'm gonna dive into this. I hope you're ready. Now, I wanna convey some understandings here. I know that there are some great slow burn mysteries, disturbing and horror movies out there. So I don't always need things to be fed to me, over explained or just explained at all. Sometimes I can think and hear go, ooh, it's effective when they don't explain it. I don't need guns blazing and getting my friend shot in the ass. But this movie bored me, dude. It bored me. I also don't need to see the classics nor their sequels. So you guys have to understand that I haven't seen anything of Pet Cemetery from its novel to the first film or its second film. I can't compare this film, this current one, to anything. Just what I saw. So if I'm not a credible opinion, I understand that. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great one. But I'm going to get into what I saw and what I liked and what I didn't like. But I am really perplexed by trailers these days. Selling the horror becomes just as boring as watching the movie unveiling its scares. The first trailer to this film was actually mysterious. It did have a sense of creepiness to it, and I liked that. However, I don't remember much. And then we get the second trailer, to which, in retrospect, I went back because I know I saw the second trailer, but don't remember that either. But going back when doing the research for this review, dear God, did this movie have so much spoiled in its second trailer alone. Don't get me started on the third trailer. So the trailers are shit, as I am already conveying to you, but if I had a gun to my head and had to pick one, I guess I'd pick up the second trailer, because if I went with the first, I'd only be wishing that it was as mysterious as the trailer conveyed, because the movie was not that suspenseful. The trailer showed too much, as I just said. Hell, people in the comments of the trailers were saying this. They were like, Jesus, this movie, sh like, this trailer showed way too much. There isn't a single sequence that I can point out to you that looked interesting, except for this one. The whole town's been using this place for generations. Folks make a kind of ritual out of it. And was that anything near as compelling in this movie? Yes. Yes, it was. Was it ever explored? No. <laughs> Everything else in this movie, from what the trailers conveyed to you, just seemed uninspired. Like they didn't think this remake was going to pull the weight it wanted to, so it told you what would be in this film over the span of three trailers. Just in case if there were any skeptics out there going, well, uh, I don't want to see another remake. No, uh -oh, or so it would actually prompt this conversation. Oh, so that person died instead of that other person. Oh, so they did that thing instead of the other thing. Oh, they're making a remake. Why are they doing that? None of the rest of the scenes in the trailers I could really talk to you about without diving into some spoilers. So I'm gonna lay out a nice little spoiler warning for you. It's minor, not a whole lot, but I hope you guys are okay with it. The ones that like to watch my stuff. The two or three of you. Those woods belong to something else. 
would say that presence between these two characters, when they're together, is probably the most notable one. They derive the best tension and world building and even suspense. Judd, played by John Lithgow, was probably the most mysterious, if not entertaining, part of the film. Lewis, played by Jason Clarke, is fine, but sadly his performance kind of is laid waste to a lot of boring moments because there's not much to his character. He does get hallucinations from a dead corpse that he tried to save early on in the film that tries to warn him, but I felt like that plot point went nowhere, that and along with his wife. Yeah, those plot points, just they, they didn't do anything for me. But when Lewis and Jed are together, I'm suddenly awake more than I would be when it's showing me anybody else. I am not kidding. That's bad. I even think the child performances were exceptionally well done, especially into its third act, despite when the film dives into everything it was setting up, becoming probably the most compelling part of the film, only for it to end right when it was getting good. The third and final scene, if I have to choose any of them, was actually something I was more impressed with over two factors. One, the fact that I didn't see it in the trailer because I didn't remember anything, and the fact that it happened differently in the movie rather than the trailer, which was... <laughs> what? I told you mine are spoilers. When Judd turns around and sees the cat, it was the final execution to a lot of tension buildup, which I thought was immediately shocking when it was followed up by that stabbing of the Achilles heel. Why? Because you don't see the buildup of the kid getting ready to stab. It just happens right away. And I thought that was really well done. But in the end, I just, I, did, I didn't care for this movie. Is the original any good? Can someone tell me if it is? Because I'm just, it, eh, mm, no, eh. Tell me if the other one's good. Because I'm really just meh about this movie. I was bored, almost fell asleep. There were some effective scenes that fall flat on its face because it followed up by these characters doing nothing. It ends right when it was getting good, and it's not like I have enough to read already because now it makes me want to read the damn book. For that, I disliked Pet Cemetery and would avoid it for the rest of my life. I am serious though, if the original is any good, please tell me, I would love to watch it. All right, so Pet Cemetery, what did you think of it? I'd love to talk with you about it, if you've got a second. Leave your comments down below. Be kind, be reasonable, and let's talk. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're new here, I do movie and TV show reviews. Check out those if you are interested. If you like what I do here and you would like to see more, subscribe. And if you have already, just turn on those notifications so you don't miss anything. Follow me on Twitter for all the updates and thoughts on matters that are related or unrelated. Check out the description box for more, and I hope you all have a fantastic and wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, and...